my loves happy sunday welcome back to a new weekly vlog welcome back to a brand new week in the life of monkey team bk fit i was gonna say monkey mandy but oh. team bk fit works yeah. um Can let me just out? turn eleanor darby off um so it's sunday it's about 9 30 in the morning 30 i hate this bed yeah it's so squeaky um 9 30 in the morning we have so much to do today guys like the normal sunday reset other things i've got to get done i'll insert it here my list for sunday is colossal sunday's meant to be the day of rest i've got more things on that list for today than i do in the week but we need to nip off to taunton asap to go and get some double wear i'm just about to sit down and do my makeup but i have no double wear and it's not a vibe we did go to clark's village yesterday in the street but they didn't have any so yeah that's that we're doing that um but i'm gonna take you along for today i mean if i've got to be busy you've got to be busy too but hi guys welcome back i love you let's go Always find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong your seeds and watch them grow the light will always know where to go you will always keep my heart and soul strong you're the first thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong your seeds and watch them grow the light will always know where to go you will always keep my heart and soul strong Chug, chug, chug. <laughs> I'm going to sit down and it's going to move. It's all right. I think we've knackered this bed. No, it's rubbish. We probably haven't helped. <laughs> it's rubbish. <laughs> We're back. Um, I just wanted to show you, I managed to get my double wear. I got it from Boots in Taunton. This one was 31 50 you can definitely get it cheaper. But we also popped into Primark and I picked up a mascara. It's very dark in here. 
I am sorry, I do apologise. Um, so I can't actually read. What does that say, Brian? So extra. So extra black mascara. And it has got a really gorgeous wand on it. Look, so I'm hoping it's going to be good. I'm just about to get in the bath, so I don't know why I'm... Good, yeah. That was three pounds. And I also picked myself up a little cheapy perfume. What does this say, Brian? Uh, free. Free? Yeah, like, well, I paid for it. And it says it's called free. <laughs> oh, I can't open it till it's it. Hang on. Anything you want to say to the vlog about your bum? <laughs> no, I just have dry hips. <laughs> Not bum or bum hole, Kerry, as you suggested. <laughs> Can you open this for me? Oh, there is something I want to discuss with you. Who? Not you, the vlog. Oh. But could you open this for me? Um, We've been asked lots and lots of times... Uh, about um, a Q&A. So we just wanted to say on here, if you've got any specific questions that you want us to answer, definitely put them, comment down below with the questions. Yeah, or what Q&A they would like us to Yeah. Know. What they'd like to know. Yeah, we want to know why we've broke our bed. <laughs> yeah. Why you've got an itchy. No, I'm an itchy, <laughs> Kerry. He's put a stop to that. And the net that in the bud. <laughs> it's it's literally just your hips, isn't it? Like yeah. the side of your You had it when you lived in Spain. Yeah. And they gave you like a steroid cream, which helped for a little minute, but not very good. But yeah, the Sanex well, is really... me, it was a day one and a night one, wasn't it? Mm. But it was right sure and then to put it on all the time. Smell this, babe. Do you know what's a real struggle? I can never see where the hole is. Mm, lovely. That's Primark. Nice. Three pounds. You do know it's only tiny, so you don't need tiny <laughs> sprays. <laughs> but yeah, we're back now. We're going to go and get in the bath and um, just chill out for the rest of the evening. I've got to redo my tan, put some more tan on. And it's raining again. It's raining. It's proper raining. Let me see if I can another shoot. movie. It's actually stopped. Has it? At the minute, yeah. We watched um, Mother's Instinct, the new Anne Hathaway movie. It was all right. Yeah, it was all right. I thought it was good, actually. But the ending was a bit... Yeah, I won't say too much. I've got this real thing with Brett today. What? I think you're really fit. Dude, stop it. I do, you though. You embarrass me on the I, camera. I do, though. It's like... I always think you're very beautiful. Like I always, always think that, but... And I do you. Well, you're very... Blind, but very lovely. But I I don't know. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, my God, your shoulders are so sexy. And, oh, my God, your biceps. And your forearms are particularly cute. <laughs> yeah, but I work on all that for you. you. For me. Yeah. Every woman needs a man. A man, a man. For love, protection. So everything. it's like, you're going to... Get me with a ballad in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get oh. my microphone out in a minute. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I just feel like my husband is very handsome today. Thank you. Welcome. Much appreciated. Welcome. I smell great. You, that is really nice, actually, isn't it? Three pounds. Three quid. And the mascara, that's good. I know. What was that? Three pounds. Well, for six pounds, you got those two. Yeah. Oh, and I didn't show you I got this as well. This was reduced to a quid, but I thought easy wearing at Plahitas with some white bikini bottoms. Yeah. You know? Very beachy. For a quid. Very nautical. Reduced to a quid. Why doesn't it say a quid? I don't know. Because if it was three pounds, I didn't want it. Well, the red sticker says quid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you missed that. 
I want spectacles. Not in the store, I didn't miss it. No. But here I was looking at this. Yeah. Yeah, but I wouldn't pay eight quid for that. Do you know Faith's Hello Kitty um, Pack bags. packing bags, cubes? She said to me, oh, Mum, they're only four pounds. They were eight pounds. She gets me every time. Yeah. It's because she knows in Primark you're not wearing your glasses. <laughs> so she'll get you every time. Yeah, it's only a two quid, Mum. He hands you a 30 quid item. <laughs> All right. Stick in the basket. And then because you're not wearing your glasses to read the receipt, you don't see it. I'd away. never know, yeah, yeah. I'd never know. Clever, Just like, clever our kid. Ding. She gets you every time, boo. Handshake. <clears throat> oh. Ah. No. Oh, I you didn't it. even aim straight. It. Didn't want to do that. Oh, oh where well, for oh, What are you doing? <laughs> Fucking paper, scissors, stone. <laughs> I got it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is why we don't play. Because you can't make the right noise. And let's go get in the bar. <laughs> Been feeling trapped down on the floor I don't know what for Feels like I'm gonna lose Silence takes a hold I can't let it go Chain up, no one knows But I won't let the stormy seas Throw me in open water Let me have my peace And leave me till tomorrow Wind into my sail Away from things I let go Floating on the waves We go bottoms up We go all the way When you're feeling down Push the pain away We go bottoms up We go all the way And face the another day We go bottoms up Patchy tan. Oh. Today is the day. You then, because I didn't do that part. No. What day is it today, Faf? I'm going to Dublin. She's going to Dublin. You're so brave. She's so brave. Oh, I'm so proud of her. She is nearly 17 and she is a well travelled little monkey, aren't you? Yeah. She is a well travelled little monkey. So I just, I just want her to know that the whole world is her playground, you know? Mummy, yeah. I've done that because you want me to just do this about my hair. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got to leave real soon. Yeah. Yeah, I just want her to know that the whole world is her playground. She can do anything that she wants to do. And it's just so exciting for her, you know? Isn't it? It's a little bit petrifying for us because... Even though, um, just the side. Mm -hmm. And whatever you see that's curly. Okay. Um, even though we know that she's going to be fine and it's super exciting, she is still our youngest and it is still a little bit nerve-wracking. But you're going to be so fine, aren't you? Yeah. Sorry. I think that's it, boo. It was just that little kink you had. Is that? Yeah. I'm just going to use your phone as a camera. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. You sure? Yeah. Give your Hello Kitty packing case then. Did I just put it on the floor? No. Done? Right, my beautiful angels, we're off to the airport, so I'll catch up with you in a bit. Say goodbye, Safe, because you're not going to be in the vlog this week. She doesn't get back until Sunday. Bye. Send her all your... Well, she'll be coming home when you guys see this, but I'm proud of you, Pickle. Let's go. feeling about this? Who, me? Sorry, right, Pickle. Pickle, you want to come on? I know, she'll be fine. But... Just in case she's not, I've got a tracker on her phone. <laughs> I know where she'll be at all times. Yeah, and who installed that? Yeah. Who, who will she not be meeting? She won't be meeting anyone called Peter. <laughs> and if anyone comes up to you and says, Whoa, hello, hello from France, let's share a taxi. My name is Peter, you want to share? You say, fuck no. <laughs> Come on. Say bye bye, UK. Bye bye. People don't know how to move. <laughs> it's been a stressful journey. Saturday. You're looking good, Cal. You can't even apologise. I, I, what? So I am meant to be working today from two till nine. I've actually phoned in sick. I never do this, but what I was saying last week or last month I'm not sure I have really been struggling so much with my being a woman um and I haven't had the time of the month for a hot minute like ages definitely three months um or I feel like it's three I know it feels like it's three years anyway not yesterday the day before time of the month happened and it's a lot like, if you follow me on Facebook, I did a post saying, where does Aunt Flo live? Because I got things I need to talk to her about. Like, she literally said to me, you're not having it, you're not having it. Have this. See how much you can bleed without dying, bitch. That's what I feel like she's doing with me right now. So, yeah, all day. Well, I, I finish work on Thursday at two, came home, got into bed, slept right the way through. Brett woke me at six. I got back into bed at eight and slept right the way through. I did get up Friday morning and go to the gym and I was so pleased that I did, but it did wipe me out and um, I got back into bed. <laughs> I think I slept all, most of the day. And then just before Brett get, got home from work, I got up, showered, washed my hair, put on fresh jammies that I've now ruined. Um, stripped all my bed, got into new cozy bed sheets and that was lovely. But then I just went straight back to sleep. So yeah, I don't know how much of the vlog you guys are gonna get to see. I will definitely get it edited and get it up for you for tomorrow morning. But I don't want to push myself today. So 
these are all the things that I want to get done. I want to get face room immaculate because she comes home tomorrow. So I want that to be all cosy and beautiful for her. I want to get all the laundry done because that's what I do at the weekend. So everyone's got all their clean clothes for Monday. And getting it dried in this weather. Ha! Huh, ha! Huh. Um, so it looks a little bit like a Chinese laundry room in here. What else do I want to get done? I want to finish off my autumn bits and get that video done for you guys. I also want to sleep. I want to go to the gym, but that's never going to happen. Like, I'm a mess right now. A mess. But I did want to let you know, because I'm so blinking honest on here with you, I have decided that Monday I'm going to go and make an appointment to speak to someone just maybe blood tests maybe I don't know if it is I'm I mean I'm 90% sure that it's perimenopause but I just don't know but I also do know that this is no fun this is no fun like I have been working out for two weeks I know it's only two weeks but younger cow after two weeks of eating clean and training hard, would notice a difference. I've noticed nothing. If not, maybe just a little bit more bloated. And my, like the first three, four days I felt great. And I love being in routine, don't get me wrong. I love like, you've got to go to the gym and I go. But why does it wipe me out? Like why? I've always found the more that you move, the more energy that you have. And I'm just like, I'm pooped all the time. You guys know that I take my fruit and veg capsules and I have done for three years. And I would never, ever be without these. But maybe I just need a little bit more right now. M maybe I need some sort of medical intervention. And I'm not, you know, I'm not scared about that I'm not I'm not hating on myself because I've reached that stage of my life like it's just us women go through oh everything everything I don't care what men say they don't have it I'm not saying men don't struggle but they don't have like their constant constant life no like their life constantly changing right? So we get to a certain age and they're like, let's make your boobs really hurt and let's make you bleed every month. It may cause you excruciating pain, but this is just the way it is. And then you get a little bit older and we have babies. Not forgetting the copious amounts of cystitis and fresh that we get in between that. And then we have babies and our boobs turn into these gigantic melons full of milk and we have to put the most tenderest area of our body into a hungry baby's mouth and then ram cabbage leaves on them to try and stop the chipping and cracking and flaking and we've pushed a human being out of our organs and then we do that over and over, you know? We just do that over and over. And then you get to a stage in your life where it's like, oh, I know, why don't you have hot sweats throughout the night? So you woke up and your, you wake up and your bedclothes are soaked and your pretty jammies are soaked and your whip woo dries up. I haven't had dried up whip woo yet, but I look forward to it. And then you get like a little hair growing out of your chin to make you look like Nanny McPhee. You have no sex drive and your incredibly beautiful husband still has his sex drive and everyone else's sex drive, <sighs> you know. And then you decide, I might lose a bit of podge because us women carry a bit more podge around the midriff. I might lose a bit of that. Mother Nature's like, ooh, ooh, no, not for you, chubster. Oh, shit. Guys, I'm so sorry. I didn't realise this was going to turn into this. Seven minutes of... Well, there's the vlog. <laughs> right. I'm I'm not going to be a moaning mutt. Or I am just going to... I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. Because everyone in Britain says that's what makes the world better. That's going to stop me ruining my bedding. 
feel like my uterus is beating me up from the inside out. I feel like my cervix is the Grand Canyon. Honestly, like there's... <sighs> I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'm going to put another wash on and then I'm going to go and tackle face room because doing nice things makes me feel nice. That's what I'm going to do. And then maybe it'll be time to shower again because I've soiled everything. <laughs> oh, the joys. Does anyone know if I can just... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 